Okay, hi class. Um, uh, okay, so for today's class, uh, we will wait for your classmates. For at least uh, more than half of you to log in on our meet before we start, okay? Okay, so it seems like uh, most of you have already logged in. And now, uh, uh, I would like to start a class. So, uh, so good day everyone. So, how are you? How are you doing? Uh, I guess uh, you're already doing good. So, let's proceed uh, with our prayer. So uh, I would like um, uh, to ask one of you to lead a prayer. Okay, Mr. Cruz. Okay, so I uh, lead a prayer. Um. Okay, let's start. Uh, okay, so thank you, Mr. Cruz, uh, for leading the prayer. So, uh, I am uh, Teacher Gerald Christopher E. Hernan. So, you can tell me, call me uh, Teach Gerald, okay? So, just to shorten. Uh, so, let us start. And, okay, about attendance, um, just take a screenshot. Anyone can do it. And send it to me later, okay? I'll give, uh, I'll get your attendance later. I'll check it later, okay? Okay, so let us start with a motivational activity. Don't worry, uh, I will not be recording this, but I will give points to those. Uh, I've taken this. Actually, it's, it's just small points, uh, actually. So, so before we will go to our proper discussion, we will first have an activity. So, I will read some statements. Then you will just answer agree or disagree. If you agree, raise your right hand. And if you disagree, stand. Oh, we will not, uh, we will not be doing that raise your right hand and stand so i'll just um uh, read to you the, the the statements and then you can write it or just uh comment or just uh uh just chat me your answers okay the answers for uh, the corresponding numbers okay you can write it and then take a picture and send to me Depends on, uh, on you, on how are you going to send your answers to me, okay? So, let's start with the first statement, which is, The more time I drive, the more distance I cover. It is, uh, do you agree or disagree? Okay, so, let's proceed to the next statement. Okay, so, that is number one. This is the second one. If you increase the recipe for more people, the more ingredients you need. Do you agree or disagree? I guess we'll know it. We'll know about it later. Okay? The less time you study, the lower scores you get in the exam. Do you agree or disagree? Hmm? Okay. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. So, uh, those uh, are just uh, motiv the motivational activity and our uh, lesson or the proper lesson for today is about direct variation. Now, I just introduced you directly because I don't want uh, some guessing, guessing activity because I like to be on point, okay? 
or direct to the point rather. Okay, so let's start uh, with our lesson, which is about direct variation. Okay, so our objectives for today. At the end of the lessons, uh, the students are expected to first is to illustrate situations that involve direct variations. Second is to translate into variation statement a relationship involving involving um, direct variation between two quantities given by a table of values, a mathematical equation, and a graph, and vice versa. So for the last, uh, solve problems involving direct variations. Uh, so what is uh, a direct variation? Now, it's the direct variation is a relationship between two variables in which one is a constant multiple of the other. In particular, when one variable changes, the other changes in proportion to the first. Okay, so direct variation is what our motivational activity is all about. Like, if uh the portion uh if people who are eating the food uh grows then the ingredients uh, needed to go, to prepare the food also increases okay so it's uh, proportional okay and by the way you can take screenshots or pictures of our lesson for today just to have some copies of your own okay Okay, guys, let's proceed. Okay, so there is direct variation whenever a situation produces pairs of numbers in which their ratio is constant. So the statements are y varies directly as x, y is directly proportional to x, and y is proportional to x. may be translated mathematically as y is equal to kx where k is the constant variation. Okay, take a screenshot. So for two quantities, x and y, an increase in x can cause an increase in y as well. Hence, direct variation. Similarly, a decrease in x causes a decrease in y. Again, direct variation. So for the first example, if y varies directly as x and y is equal to 24 and x is equal to 6, find the, the variation constant and the equation of variation. So again, what were the given? Uh, y is equal to and x is equal to. Okay, good. Okay, so express the statement y varies directly as x as y is equal to kx. Then solve for uh, the k by substituting the given values in the equation. So, write the equation, express the statement as y is equal to kx. Then y is 24, x is k. So, that is 24 is equal to 6k. Then, uh, divide both equations. Wait, uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Where was I? Okay, so y is equal to kx and 24 is equal to 6k. So y is equal to 24 over 6. And now 24 divided by 6 is 4. Okay, so I'll get a screenshot.
Oh, so let us proceed. Now, therefore, the constant variation is 4. So, let's continue the solution. Now, form the equation of the variation by substituting 4 in the statement y is equal to kx. So, substitute uh, the constant uh, 4 to k. So, the second example. If x varies directly as y and x is equal to 35 when y is 7, what is the value of y when x is 25? Okay, so the solution for that. Since x uh, varies directly as y, then the equation of variation is in the form of x is equal to ky. I'm very sorry, excuse me. So, uh, let us substitute the given values of y and the x to solve for the k in the situation, in the equation rather. So, x is equal to ky and 35. Let's substitute x, which is 35, k, okay, which is the constant, and then the y, which is 7. So, k is equal to 35 over 7. Now, k is equal to 5 because 35 divided by 7 is 5. Hence, the equation of variation is x is equal to 5y. Okay, so, we will not end there. This is the continuation. Now, solving for y when x is 25. 25 is equal to 5y. y is equal to 25 over 5, which is y is equal to 5. Hence, y is equal to 5. Wait. Wait, guys. I will just turn off. Okay, I'm very sorry for that interruption. Okay, now, let us proceed to our group activity. Now, you can pair with uh, anyone in the class today or any group of two above, okay? Just a group of one. Those, uh, one is not a group, okay? So, get a one whole sheet of paper. Write the name of the group and its members. Okay, so I'll give you time to decide. Just listen to me first. Each member should have a number. Remember the number given to you. I will randomly pick a number. Then you will answer the questions. Each of you should be given time to answer. The time will depend on how hard the question is. So just comment your answer with your group number before the answers. The first to answer, and if his or her answer is correct, uh, will be given 5 points. Next will be 3 points, and the group that will get the high score will be the winner, and your rank will have a corresponding points. So here are the rankings. So the first will have 70. Second, we have 65, the third, 55, fourth is 50, and the fifth, we have 45 points. Okay, uh, so for y is, is equal to 28 when x is 7. Okay, so I will need your answers to be commented. Okay. So. Okay, so time is up. Next one. Y is equal to 30 when X is equal to 8. Uh, 
Okay, next. y is equal to 0 0.7 when x is equal to 0 0.4 okay again guys uh, the corresponding number on your group is what number uh, you answer or you're gonna answer okay just comment your answers And remember to put on the corresponding group and your corresponding number and name. Okay. Next, y is equal to 400 when x is equal to 25. Okay, guys, so just remember the equation that was given to you earlier. I hope you've got screenshots or photos of the equation, okay? Now, y is equal to 63 when x is 81. Okay, guys, are you doing good? I hope you're working together as a group. So, y is equal to 200 when x is equal to 300. Okay, next. So, now we will have an evaluation, which is individual. Which means, you will not have somebody to help you with your answer. Okay, so I just... Uh, the answer in this will be will depend on what have you understood so far for our class in our class okay let's proceed so our general instructions in one whole sheet of paper answer the following okay so get yourself a paper and a pen and answer this uh, the answers i will need them to be sent to me uh what time is it it's 10 59 a.m and i want your answers before lunch time if that means okay, i'll need it before 12 okay that's too much time okay so In each of the following, y varies directly as x. Find the values as indicated. Uh, if y is equal to 12, when x is equal to 4, find y when x is 12. Okay, so take a screenshot and write your answers in a while sheet of paper. Take a picture, send it to me individually, okay? So I'll just uh, give you all the questions. Is that all? Okay. So I'll take a screenshot. I'll give you some time. Take a screenshot. So you'll be able to write it uh, later, right? Okay. So I guess everybody have taken a screenshot. Now, wait. I'll give you time. Just answer it now. I guess we still have time. Just answer it now. I'll just give you an assignment. Maybe. Okay, I'll give you time. Okay, so that's enough time. Let's proceed with the answers. So those are the answers for the questions. 
the question is that as that was asked in the evaluation okay so i hope you've taken a screenshot again of this again i've given you time to answer and i've said earlier to i let you pass it before lunch but i guess um, i just uh i will just end early our class just take a screenshot of this and check okay check if the question and the answer is uh, corresponds with each other okay or is correct and that will be a review okay so i will be giving you an assignment so i guess um uh this will be easy for you Oh, so here it is. Tin cans of beverages are collected for recycling purposes in many places in the Philippines. Junk shops pay 15 pesos for every kilo of tin cans bought from collectors. In the following table, C is the cost in peso and N is the number of kilos of tin. Now N, we have the number of kilos which is up to 6 and C is the peso. Okay. okay, so have you taken a screenshot? Wait, so take a screenshot first before we proceed. Thank you. So, write a mathematical statement that relates uh, the two quantities N and C. The statement uh is right here just like this wait yeah the statement will be like this statement that looks like this wait where's that where's that Okay. Wait. Okay, so like these statements. This like this. Where's that? Like that, like that, okay? Without the agree or disagree part, okay? Just since No, what are you doing? Okay, so write the mathematical statement that relates the two quantities N and C. What is the constant variation? Formulate the mathematical equation. Next is to observe the values of C and N in the table. What happens to the cost C when the number of N per kilos? of paper is double, triple, okay, Just show it in your statements how the relation and then follow these steps, so the fourth is graph the relation, and the fifth or the last is the how much would 20 kilos of tin cans cost, that is cost, that is cost, Okay, how much uh, would 20 kilos of tin cans cost if the end of the month? The cost of every kilos of tin cans will increase by 5 pesos. So instead of 15, that would be 20. Okay, so take a screenshot of uh, the flow of your assignment. So I guess that would be all. Thank you, and I hope and I hope you've learned something about the variation. I guess for you it will be very very easy. And.
that would be all. Uh, take a screenshot of those who are still here and send it to me. Okay? And that would be all, guys. We all class. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for attending the class. And that would be all. Uh, God bless. Okay? So you can now believe our meet. Okay, so thank you, class. Till next time, okay? Bye.